All right. Yes. So we got our interview of the evening going on. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we got a returning guest, but it's like this we did this interview, our first interview so long ago. Long. I don't way know, back, way back. Yeah, like yeah, I don't I know. I think if he was just starting his company at the time. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I was, was just getting started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like three years ago almost now where we did our interview and like I don't think everybody knows that there was a part one because this is so far back in the channel and the episodes. Way back, yeah. And a lot of people are just like post Bizlok, they realize that we had a podcast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah, yeah, yeah. And Real you shit. lined that up for us too. Yeah. Exactly. You, yeah. you made the initial. Real shit. Like, I wasn't aware of him until you put me on. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for the people who are just in the listening audience and don't know who that, that deep voice, that baritone voice individual is that we got in, <laughs> in the building right now, we got the nemesis in the motherfucking uh, 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 building. Uh, yeah. Real life on the track gets so deep. Every nigga say they ride for their bro ski. Out of 10, how many get cold feet? There you know. Yes. Nemesis in the cut, you know what I'm saying? Yo, thanks for coming back through, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and, and you've been doing a lot of big things, man. Yeah, like, man, I've been working hard, man. I've been working hard as usual, you hard, know what I'm saying? Hard, 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 yeah. working hard. Goldmine Media, man. Goldmine Media, yeah. yeah, we, yeah. We, we touched on this a little bit before when you and, and, and Baby Grimes came through three years ago. Yeah. So, give us what has happened with that company and what it is since then fuck like right now it's expanded like heavy you know what i'm saying it's just like even without advertising it's just like the work is just speaking for itself you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, like the visuals are always coming in and like every day i get calls for videos like without advertising at all you know every time i put out a video mm -hmm. somebody sent me up for another video wow you know it works speaks for itself exactly and then there's times when it's like it's never ending is that it's a never ending cycle of like filming and editing filming and editing and it's like there's times when I complain about it, mm. but everybody's telling me that like those are good problems to have. Uh, I yes. was just about you know to saying? say that's a good problem to have. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. It's like it's never ending. Like there's not like <coughs> a week off or a day off. It's just like nonstop, back to back to back to back. Yeah. There's no time limit. There's no this time till that time. It's just ongoing. Non -stop. You know what I'm saying nonstop. How many videos do you feel like you do maybe per month? Uh. Well, the price went up a little bit, so I'm trying to do like a little bit less videos, mm -hmm. right? But I would still say it's around like around like six to eight videos. Jesus Christ! A month? Wow! Yeah, that's a lot. That's that's that's, oh, so that's like, a lot of work. Shit. Like I passed 500 videos. Wow! Right? Wow! That I shot, edited. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I'm saying so. Five hundred. And I all those videos I filmed, oh, I edited, yeah. I directed, I I did the lighting, mm -hmm. I did like. The whole production process, you know wow. what I'm saying? Are those mm -hmm. all music videos? Um, yeah, those are all, those are music videos. Yeah. Wow. Five hundred in, in like, a year since you started. Since I started, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really so that's awesome. been three years. Three years, you did five hundred music videos. Yeah. that's fucking crazy. That's crazy, and I've been traveling a lot too. You know what I'm saying so. So give us some working. of the places that you travel to, because we see it um, on your Instagram. But yeah, like, well, first of all, like uh, shout out to Swagger, right? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause I went out to LA with Swagger, right? You went to Texas. You did the original video for. Yeah, you um, went to Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, for hottest what? out. Hottest out. You did yeah. the original video. The original for that. one. I, I shot the other one. Yeah, yeah. I shot the new oh, one too. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Continuity. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That was the first time I ever shot the same, vi the same, like a video for the same record twice. Can we stop there for a second before you go on to the other places? Yeah. But keep that thought. Okay. Um. Why did y'all do two videos for that? Uh, well, there was a second reason or purpose for like the second release of the video. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, um, like it was a request. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It was a request to just film it over again mm -hmm. with like a total different look. Mm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the main reason for doing it. So, with that video, the first one was what? When did you film the first one? The first one was what, um, 2018, and then boom, you guys for Texas. Again. We filmed that one in Texas. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 South yeah, by yeah, Southwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. then this one was 2019. 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. And it was dope. Like it was lit. You know what I'm saying? Both videos were lit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like mm -hmm. 
and then just the experience itself is filming in other states and shit like that you know so yeah a you know, whole different vibe different budget too different budget yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. and it's yeah. also like some stuff that you wanted to do maybe in the last video that you couldn't have done in the last, you got to do maybe in this video mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some treatments you know like you know what we wanted to do this last time because we came up with the idea but we didn't have the time so guess what exactly let's exactly, do it this exactly. time yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh -huh. so what are some of the other places that you that video making has brought you to um i've been to like jamaica a lot mm -hmm. yeah I've had videos in jamaica like i've had like videos playing on tv and shit out there so that was the next experience too just kicking back and watching the videos that i've done playing on the tv you know what i'm saying yeah so that was dope too i've done like mad videos out there mm yeah i seen that too i see that for like a lot of upcoming artists you know what i'm saying but i also film for sizzler also okay oh nice i'm saying and then there's another artist named savage out there he's doing pretty good right now mm. yeah so make up the fucking sizzler and savage yeah yeah it's been lit man it's been lit yeah there was something that you brought up before um when we were talking before of one of them's ch um travels or <sighs> well, miami yes what happened in Miami? You caught the charge with the with the this loud. This happened in Miami. <laughs> 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 so how did what? So yeah, explain to us what happened. Like, oh, well, you I, dealt I, with it, right? It's, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's done. It's, it's done. Like, but I went to Miami for my birthday. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I went out there. I was at South Beach smoking a blunt, and then like the boy them passed on like one of those, one of those golf cart type of things. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So they passed me, and then they smelled the loud. Uh, I caught their nose. Yeah, I caught their nose, and they turned back. So I'm thinking, like, are they really turning back because I'm smoking a blunt? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because if it was here, I wouldn't be like, what am I going to run? Am I going to yeah. throw it away? What am I going to do? It's just a blunt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was in the wrong I'm in the wrong state. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so they came over, they're like, yo, where's the blunt? And I'm like, it's right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, light. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I think, oh, damn, that was easy. It, it wasn't light. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't light. They're like, ask me if I had any more at the next split. I'm like, yeah, I have a split. Like, that's light. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To me, that's light. Yeah. You know Trauma what I'm saying? Mentality. As soon as they heard that at the next blip, they're telling me to put my hands by my back and whoa, whoa. read me my rights and all type of shit like that. And then it was like, first thing I'm thinking about, who am I going to call? You know what I'm saying? It's like, who yeah. am I going to call? Usually, when you, you know what I'm saying? When you get back, you got to call somebody to figure out the situation for the next morning. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. You were dolo? No, nah, I was out there without, um, I was out there with a the model still. Mm. And she was out there getting her chest done. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like a double trip. I'm like a double purpose trip. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So she was there and then she was like crying and shit, like, you know, making a whole scene. That's crazy. The whole shit, you know what I'm saying? But they were having it. And they were telling me, like, yo, you're, you're going to jail. Yeah, you're back. You're, you're going to yeah, like, but I had that's a it. flight. My flight, like, that was, a that was my last day in Miami. Oh. So my flight's so in like six hours. This is the last blunt. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, oh. like, I'm like, yo, I just want to smoke one more on the beach. That's crazy. Ah, damn. Yeah, that was it. You know so what I'm saying? You were too close to the boardwalk, basically. Basically, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you were a little more on the beach, you if probably would have gotten away. Yeah, probably, yeah. But it was nighttime, though. Like, you know, like, it's, oh. it's not like it's daytime. Yeah, yeah. You can see. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That's I, crazy. I never got it. But yeah, they, they, they bagged me still. And then they told me, like, at one point, she told me that, like, if I got money on my bank on my bank card, I'm straight. So I'm like, the fuck wow. does that mean? What does that mean? You know what I'm saying? So I can basically bail myself out. Yeah, post bail. This, yeah. It's all about money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what everything. No, that makes sense. Sure. So, like no matter how petty it is, it's just like they want that money. They want yeah. that bread. So basically, like whatever your bond is, you pay ten percent. Yeah. So a thousand bucks, you pay hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're out. Like, what's the point of even bringing me in there for? You know, for what the money. <laughs> exactly. For the money. Yeah. For the yeah. money. You said it. It's yeah. For the money. So I'm thinking, you know what? I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna pay. And I'm gonna still catch my flight. No, nope. mm. nah, I missed my flight and shit like that. I had to wait till the next morning and go to court. Damn. Then they gave me like a promise to appear. They like they just gave me a phone number to call. Yeah. It was up to me if I wanted to call it or not. You know what I'm saying? But I'm assuming like if I didn't call the number, then next time I come back to Miami, or even fuck. if you travel anywhere, I'm going back in. No, usually I think it's in that state though. I'm oh, not even okay. sure, but I think yeah. it's in that state. Yeah. Well, just better safe than sorry. Exactly. Yeah. So I just kept calling the number till they said it was thrown out. Mm -hmm. They basically okay. had somebody representing me going to court for me. You know what I'm oh, saying, yeah, so yeah. I just kept calling like two or to three find months, the updates. Then they said it's gone. You know what I'm saying, and then I've been back twice since. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was actually gonna ask like if you if you've been back. That that's good. Yeah, I've been that's back. Yeah, blessing. I thought I was gonna fuck up my whole shit. You know what I'm saying, but yeah, now I'm straight. That's good. And you're still you're still doing like your own music and stuff too. Yo, queen, getting work with the king size. I'm all up in your boot thing. Then it's back to the black with my crew hang. Bag full of gas, that butane. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been recording. I haven't like released too much. 
you know what I'm saying? But I got this record up the revenue, you know what I'm saying? That's the one I'm about to about to hit him with that one, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you prefer more, making music or doing these videos now? I don't know that the videos are paying more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the videos are paying more. I still got love for the music, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's just the time, like, it's time consuming, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Especially when you want to focus on something. Like, if I want to focus on something, I'm not, like, m- my brain isn't scrambled everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. if I'm focused on something, I'm locked in on that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially as a project. If I'm going to do pro- yeah, like music, then the videos might slow down a bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just got to balance it and just find the right time. You know what I'm saying? Even though the, there's never the right time either. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. that's the case. I've been off the radar for a minute. Yeah. Waiting for the right time. You know what I'm saying? At one point, I just said, you know what? I'm dropping this record. You've yeah. been off the radar, yeah. but you haven't been off exactly. the radar. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, like music-wise. Yeah, music-wise. Music music right? right? But, but you're, still, you're still in yeah. the music exactly. scene. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, you're yeah, making yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. 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 if you yeah. really wanted to, you could probably feature on it. I'm pretty sure one of the, anybody's track, if they if they really knew your music history. Like, exactly. you know, I I rap too, right? So... Hell yeah, hell yeah. Is it that easy though? But Herc brings up a good point. Is it that easy? Because look, we, we we podcasted. I used to rap. Yeah. Ain't nobody hollering at me for no fucking feature. Right. And the thing is though, I got producers hitting me up and asking me. Everybody's asking me what's going on on the mm. low. You know what I'm saying? And producers are still hitting me with beats. Like you know what I'm saying? So like that's the type of shit that makes me think like yo, I got. You know what I'm saying? I got the man shit. still. Exactly. I got yeah. drop some new shit. You know. Yeah, people want to hear what you got to say, and you could shoot your own music videos. When you were, have you have you been shooting your own music videos as you've been putting out videos? Um, well, basically, like directing my videos, I always had somebody like a lot of my recent videos. Mm-hmm. If I'm not in the shot, I was behind the camera. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So other than that, like I would have somebody filming me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But it's like a, a circle that I work with. You know what I'm saying? So it's been basically I'm still producing the videos. Yeah. Yeah, you know that actually brings up a question that that I that um I have here here. What's how many people you have behind the scenes doing videos with you? Because when we watch your videos, they're not no small production. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a it's a big thing. So is it just you doing a lot of different shots, or do you have like ninety percent of the time it's just me? Okay. And it looks like there's multiple cameras, and there's like different lighting setups and Mm -hmm. but it's just the vision that i have you know what i'm saying and it's just like there's a way to shoot it and i figured it out yeah you know what i'm saying so even if it might look like if i if i'm supposed to draw this blunt i'll get it from three different angles it'll look like one shot when Mm -hmm. i I shot it three times yeah from three different angles but it looks like one take Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that's why you would think that it's like different cameras and shit like that yeah have you always been doing that when you were making music videos to have or have you been learning through trial and error um through Charlie and Art for sure. So you're self taught. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then yeah. YouTube. I, I I crush those tutorials. Like I go to sleep listening to tutorials. But for like the editing and all that editing, stuff. Editing, filming, every, all of that. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that, like that's where I get like a lot of my knowledge from with the filming and then also with the trial and error too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, dog. Like it's crazy because like 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 I said in the beginning, like we. We're talking about this three years ago. Three years in the making, yeah. And you're like, yo, I'm going to start getting into this music video stuff. And you already had a couple at the time, no? Yeah, there was a few. Yeah, there was a few before that. But that was when it really, like, started kicking off, you know? Yeah. What do you think is the big difference between your approach to making music videos now to back when you first started? Now it's like, I want to do the best video possible. Before it was just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's just get something done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm really, like trying to get the best visual as possible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Because yeah. it's easier to make like a little bit of a budget, make make it look like more than what it is. Yeah. Than to use nothing. And nothing is always going to look like nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, I always encourage the artist to like, let's go a little bit harder than, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what I'm always aiming for. You know what I'm saying? Because then the visuals do come out better at the end of the day. And then you're like, you're branding yourself. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, how good do you want these, like yourself to look? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just trying to lowball all the time, like, how good do you want to look in this video? Yeah, and your name is on it, right? Exactly. Yeah, my name is on it too. And like, I just really want to put out the yeah, best shit. Yeah, put out the best product. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. I always want to elevate too. You know what I'm saying? I never want to stay at the same, like, I just get like a like a vibe or a mood that's like, yo, I have to level up. Mm. Like, no, no matter how good people are saying my shit is, it's like I'm always trying to get to the next level. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? All the time. So. That's the main thing that keeps me pushing still. Like, okay, let's stay on the videos just for one more, one more second, right? Who do you think is your favorite video that you've done in the last two, three years? Oh. 
maybe chains on my neck with swagger right mm. in la big tune yeah that show was hard yeah 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 the whole vibe of everything was just just the, the the vibe in la is a whole different i think that was my first time to la too so that might be why too and i'm saying mm-hmm. just the experience itself yeah just, just filming in la and hollywood shit i never thought of you know what i'm saying yeah yeah, yeah like, you know what i'm saying it's like palm trees like yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> shit right so it's a whole different vibe yeah it's crazy you know them because you were doing all of this traveling as a video producer video director you know what yeah. i mean and you have done so much as a rapper did mm-hmm. you ever think that you'd be doing all of this traveling as a director rather than a rapper <sighs> no nah, i never thought of it i never never thought of it at all yeah it's crazy what made you make the switch man yeah that's what i was gonna say like what interested you to be saying you know what I can rap. I'm good in front of the camera, but I feel exactly. like I'm better behind the camera. And, and, and I never really thought that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the joke. I never thought that. Yeah. Like, it's a situation. I was on house arrest one time, and like, my bro gave me like a, like, my bro came up with like a, a business deal with somebody else mm-hmm. that involved like cameras and shit like that. They never came up with their end of the deal, so he took back his shit. Right. And he knows I was doing music, so he was like, "Yo, you want these cameras?" And I just took the cameras, and I was on house arrest at the time, so. Mm-hmm. That's I just got time to actually focus and think about it, and I knew I was already in the market for it. You know what I'm saying? And well respected in the city. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. just like it was like a no-brainer for me. Plus the hustle behind it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about the hustle. How can I make yeah. some money? So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Legal exactly. money. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> eat the way i want to eat and live the way exactly, i want to live exactly. so but yo know, that's because yeah when you first can you say yeah i'm gonna do the, we're we're gonna start the company gold mine media the year like we're like yeah that's big because you were doing the rapping your sister's rapping also yeah. i never needed attitude shitty been mistreated let him know body bag a bitch leave a reeking grab the f- yeah and you guys were on that and then boom now and known and respected known and well well known yeah, yeah, and respected yeah, yeah. on this, some yeah, this big is tracks right now like, yo aren't you nemesis bro like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm from Jane Remix I'm from Jane Remix Jane Remix one of the hardest verses on the track oh, you, already know you understand what I'm saying yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, it's yeah. like people have to realize yo this guy made 500 videos in 3 years yeah and that's just crazy the transition from a rapper to director is, that's just nuts yeah 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 and yeah battle rap yeah yeah that, that, it really started from the battle rap you know what i'm saying that's when i first kicked it off you know what i'm saying and like on the underground side yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's go there for a quick second let's go back yeah 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 when you're are you talking about project bounce times project bounce and even around the time with project bounce there's a thing called 410 word mm. right that was like some phone hotline type shit okay so, like artists will call in and like basically like you're leaving your freestyle as a message but it was all set up as a program yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah so they would have like the top 10 and then they'll put one rapper against the next rapper so it's almost like a dating service but it's like f- for crazy. music you know what I'm <laughs> so, like, uh, but then they had inboxes where people were like yeah this is nuts linking other girls mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. talking in the dm but nobody knows each other who, like who anybody is yeah but everybody knows the name message. and the voice yeah and i was just coming from school all, i right after school i just call a line i was be on it you know what i'm saying you could press one to listen to all the raps press two to listen to all the cigars mm-hmm. oh, you know what wow. i'm saying shit like that and then you have dms and inboxes and all type of so it was, it was like a it was like a community just by on, being on the phone yeah and then after a certain time amount of time they um they actually had like a show huh. and they had like battle raps because I, I was getting heated on there i was eating man's food on there mm-hmm. you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying non-stop i was hot on there you know what i'm saying like that's it just the same way i did with the music and the videos i was always consistent so it's like i was always on it back to back to back to back and i, I was killing it you know what i'm saying and it's just like it was all competition it wasn't like a beef thing you know what i'm saying so yeah. even if i was getting at somebody it wasn't a beef thing it was it's a straight a competition, competition. Yeah. i'm still eating your food but it wasn't really like a beef thing you know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah yeah then there was one artist that kind of got tense you know what i'm saying but it's it's also it's just like i was marketing myself at the same time like mm-hmm. i knew what i was doing yeah you know what i'm saying just yeah. getting the shit heated on the line to make sure i was the your topic. name is speaking yeah and then they had a battle mm-hmm. where everybody on the line seen each other for the first time mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so that that was crazy that was different too you know what i'm saying it's like over 100 people and everybody knows 
who who is, but never they seen don't know never your seen face. That. So and now it's like right? fucking Instagram. It's a big reveal it. now. Yeah. It's like a big reveal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's Nemesis. That's Nemesis. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yo, that's Caramel. Yeah. <laughs> and this is so and so. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody's that's, like, oh, was your name Nemesis already? Yeah, Nemesis. Yeah. yeah, yeah everybody yeah, had yeah, the eBay face. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was lit, and then the back, the, the main event that night was me and, and this other dude on there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So we we're going back and forth at night one, That's two. So dope. that was lit, and a lot a lot of people remember me, me from that. Yeah, just that that itself. And then that trickled right into Project Bounce was at the same time. That's when I met you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, the, yeah. you got you used to have a song on Project Bounce. Sometimes I feel like every fucking week you had a new tune. I like. I think in the, in the total thing of Project Bounce, I had like 21 tracks that played on Project Bounce. Okay, let's stop for a second. Because a lot of people, there'll be people who'll tracks. be in the audience who'll be like, yo, blah, 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 Project Bounce. But can you explain for the people what the fuck Project Bounce was? <laughs> Project Bounce was like our Hot 97 pretty much. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, it was different at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. it, it, was, it was nothing like it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You can, man, them can ride out in the night shift. And listen to Project Bounce, you know what I'm saying? They have different DJs every night. Mm -hmm. And 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 they're playing all like not all on the music, but they're playing underground music. Yeah. And if you're flicking your radio and you're a hip hop fan, you would have to stop. Mm -hmm. oh, because you're hearing Styles P on the radio. Uh -huh. What? Like you're not yeah. hearing Styles P on the radio right it's now. Like fucking um the, the Styles P mixtape track. <laughs> yeah, the mixtape tracks. You know what Bro, I'm saying? Just, when I was when I was in high school, there was this one guy, the man would record these things and sell them as his own mixtapes in school to the to the Italian you Project the Box mixtapes? Yeah. Like he would yeah. he'd take a, he would record it and then he would he was rinsing them five bucks, bro. <laughs> bam, bam, That's bam. crazy. So it's basically our own radio station with twenty um not twenty four seven but like five hours of hip hop seven nights a week. Exactly every yeah. night. Yeah, you know I'm saying so. That For was like it. a certain time of the night, Rose. Yeah, on eighty nine point five FM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So even though I was going to school at the time, it's like I was up till five. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I was on it, like. Especially if I'm waiting for my track to play. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm listening until that the show show's done, you know yep. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's built up a reputation on there too, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah. yeah I mean that was uh, that was a good time too. Biggest project bounce moment for you. It would probably be this one time I called in with the same battle shit mm. and like I didn't say who I was. I didn't say it was Nemesis. Cause I was always winning. Everybody was always rooting for me. Mm. So I'm like, is it really me or is it what I'm doing? You know. So one time I called up and like, I didn't say who I was. Yeah. I came up with some bogus name, <laughs> and then I did my thing and I still got all the votes. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, yeah, I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. all right, yeah, yeah, uh, I'm really doing it. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I know that. That was one of the one of the highlights for sure. And and even through like a lot of your rhymes, you're always representing Black Creek, Black Creek, Black Creek. You know what I'm saying? Hard. So. We've already did like an interview with you, and you've done mad interviews. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So we're yeah. not gonna go through the generic. Yo, what was it like for you growing up? But as a as a OG now, what do you think the main difference is between back then when you were you a younger G to now that you're an OG, like with the Black Creek area? Um, right now it's just it's different now. Just like everywhere, not everywhere, but a lot of places change, especially with like the building and like different things being built around the area mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that makes it a lot different you know what i'm saying the vibe is still there it's still the streets or it's still you know what i'm saying the usual urban life yeah like they will call it you know what i'm saying but i just feel like over there right now it's kind of like a little bit more they try to make it more up there mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying not like what it used to be you know what i'm saying that's like how they're tearing down the buildings and region and shit like that yeah you know what i'm saying it's like they're not tearing on the buildings, but they're trying to up it to make it feel and look a certain they're way. They're adding like, on. There's cameras everywhere. Yeah. Every yeah. corner, every every floor in the building, every hallway in the building, there's, there's cameras, you know what I'm saying? So it's That's different. Crazy. It's a whole different vibe. That's nuts. Compared to before, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, wow. So y'all are not getting gentrification over there. You're getting the effects of gentrification. <sighs> exactly. And plus, you know, they're already they're raising the prices and everything like that too. So it's just mm. like, but a lot of people I know are still there. You know, what I'm saying I moved out a minute ago after my pops dropped out. Okay, R.I.P. Right, so yeah, wow, 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 wow. So even for now, even when you go back, 
what are some of the things that you think of from back in, in your days when like do you get like those memories yeah when you i always that? get those memories of like yo i used to chill right there but like the bench ain't there no more mm. you know what i'm saying or, like the, the, like you know what i'm saying like the, the stories are different it's different owners in the stories and it's just like it's the same but it feels different you know what i'm saying really fully yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying like now there's nowhere to post up Mm. put it that way and I'm saying there's nowhere to post on I mean, it even nowadays I don't think like niggas are posting up like that at the buildings and like now you know what I'm saying it's a total different ball game right now you can't even post up out there it's hot it's different yeah. it's a completely different yeah. ball game <laughs> completely different ball game you know what I'm saying it's different yeah that game is like that that, that style of, of, of living like yo we're gonna come outside and just see what's going on outside 30, uh, outside. 30 men 30 uh, men on the block chilling that uh, day, they, they even in the summertime you can't even yep. do it you know what I'm saying like yeah. it's crazy and maybe you, you see five, four or five man yeah. if you're lucky right but <coughs> you know, right now I'll give you this one be prepared for Carabana eh McDonald's is gone yeah, at King yeah, and Dufferin yeah, 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 McDonald's yeah. is gone <laughs> they leveled it flat it's gone condos yeah. are coming so just be wary for Carabana don't tell none of your peoples to link you at King and Duffer right. McDonald's because King and Duffer McDonald's <laughs> yeah, is done, dead. Huh? It's gone. They killed it. Gentrification's coming. You're gonna go over there and be like, "Yo, wh- what the fuck?" What do you What do you think is a landmark on the West End that is used to be something that men them used to go to and regularly do that just doesn't happen no more? Sure, them all. Mm. Share the mall used to be it, you know what I'm saying? Like that I, was like I, I had a feeling you were gonna say share the, the mall. spot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was the that spot, was the you spot. know what I'm saying? It was lit, you know what I'm saying? He's yeah. you know, the one the movies and everything. The movie theater used to be like, downstairs. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas don't know about that, but that, you know I'm saying that was lit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying as as far as like 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 on a vibe, but I'm saying like our people, you know what I'm saying, in the streets, like but as usual shit gets sticky all, all the time when like too much niggas are around too, right? Yeah. But it was a hot spot. Even bringing me to even like a question that we ask to a lot of our guests, right? Um, like with the way that the city's gone, like gone up in the way that the gun violence and everything is, mm-hmm. over, especially over the last two years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you think that we can do to bring it down in like 2020 or like moving forward? I don't know. I think we need more people just out there putting the word and spreading the positivity more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not out there like that. Even if anybody's thinking like that, they're not saying it. They're not putting it out there. Yeah. Like giving out that energy, you know what I'm saying? It's just all held on the low, and the negative energy is what is what like it's it's received more. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it's like basically like the what do you call it? Like on the sad truth. You know what I'm saying? Like it's out there, but it's like if people spread the word more and spread the energy more. Yeah. Then that's a start. You know what I'm saying? Because to stop it is kind of like it's hard to stop. It's I'm, it's never gonna be stopped but where the numbers are lower exactly exactly i don't know but right now it's crazy right now man yeah like, I, I don't even know what's going on right now put it that way i don't even know what's going on right now i'm lost yeah you know what i'm saying but i just know that it's crazy yeah you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like and and it, it boils down to the youngins you know what i'm saying it really boils down to the youngins but it's just like who's around them you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like their influences a, yeah if there was a nigga to tell them like yo what you just did was like some fuckery then it would be different you know what i'm saying but when True. nobody's telling you nothing and then they reach a point where like you can't tell me nothing you don't even care yeah nobody cares you know what i'm saying so yeah, that's what yeah, i'm yeah. saying like it's out of hand you know what i'm saying yeah 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 but it's just, it breaks on to just having that putting out that energy out there that's the main thing you know what i'm saying because energy is a big thing you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. if two niggas walk into a room that don't know each other like there's tension for no reason no reason at all it's just because you don't know him and you're like you know i'm saying like it's like an automatic tension and like that type of shit needs to stop it's, first yeah it's yeah. not necessary you know it's not even necessary do you ever have to deal with any of that type of stuff as a video director because you know rappers have polys that's yeah. becoming the thing yeah, now yeah, yeah, rappers yeah, have yeah. polys right but like as a video director are people like yo i'm not fucking with you because you did a video with this guy i don't know why niggas do that though because it's just like I think about that shit all the time and it's like it doesn't make no sense because I'm taking it as a business. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's the way I look at it. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a hustler and like, this is my business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I was doing mechanic, if I was a mechanic, it wouldn't be like this. Yeah. yeah you wouldn't care whose car is coming you, in You here. don't care whose car is coming in but because I'm doing videos and I'm like wanting to man them for my certain ends. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but then I would have to be on the same page where like, if I don't have no problems with nobody, if I don't feel like there's not a reason why I shouldn't do a man's video right. or don't want to do a man's video. Nobody should be able to tell me 
why did I do the video or yeah. I fucking yeah, no one needs a question. It's video. a business at the end of the it's day. It's a business, like literally. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But niggas ain't looking at like at like that. They're thinking like 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 you're riding with them or whatever the case is, and you're into their polys. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Wait, so wait. that happens then, motherfuckers. Hell be like, yeah, hell no, yeah. I'm not of doing course. it. Hell so yeah. what about director polys? There's rapper poly. There's, there's not director polys. There's, there's not like really, between not. directors. There, there there might be on the low. Like I said, that's like, like a type of energy that's like on the low. Uh-huh. Mm. If it is, but I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? I know it might be out there, but I, I don't even see it, to tell you the truth. You know what? I, you don't see it. I don't really think that it really no, exists. No, I don't think it does either. I, like, I'm just asking yeah. because just to ask, but I don't think it does exist because I, I see everybody like... We had three other directors sitting yeah, here, yeah. and they were just like, "Yeah, boom! You know what? After this, let's link up." They have a chat, gr- yeah, a group yeah, chat yeah, that yeah, they're yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything. So mm-hmm. I don't think and they, they, and they named off other people too. Yeah, right. So I don't like I say I was just asking about because just you know like there's rap polys with the rappers, so maybe one and two directors, you know, whatever. Because of that same reason, oh, he filmed this man's video from this man's ends or yeah, whatever. Yeah, but it, that might be a reason why like a nigga won't call me because I did somebody's video. Uh, wow, you know what I'm saying so it's not even no poly. There's no energy there. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, I know some niggas might not like me because I did a next niggas video. Yeah. When I'm not even thinking like that. You're just thinking about, yeah, man, let me to do a video. Yo, that's you know what I'm saying? I'm in. It's a business, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, I just want to put out the best videos possible. Like, yeah. that's my, I don't even care about the polys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's none of my business at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So, Exactly. I'm looking at it as a straight business, but once again, I'm just like a nigga, just like them. So yeah, it's like perceived different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <coughs> what do you think is one of the hardest things about doing music videos? <sighs> the hardest thing, um, one thing I'd say would be like the timing, with like, because when you're doing a video, it's like the timing means everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Especially when you're working with like daylight and lighting. <sighs> And other people's time niggas don't understand that mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying if i tell a man i want to do a video at three o'clock before the sun goes down you get there at six o'clock that whole shot is dead yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. and there might be some epic shit that i have in my head that i want to do but it can't happen you know what i'm saying yeah yeah so it's just really it's just the timing and being organized yeah you know what i'm saying it's kind of, I mean, niggas really got to be organized when they're doing these videos and the videos will turn out better you know what i'm saying because and the next thing is to let the director direct the video Mm. you know what I'm saying like there's always like 10 new directors on set <laughs> every man's a director you should do it like this do fam. it like this do it like that but they have they realistically they, like there's no idea of how it's gonna look mm-hmm. when I do it like that and I already thought that far so if it's not gonna make sense to me I'm like yo you know what let me just stick to what I'm doing and just get it done how it's supposed to be done because it goes back to time yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying I, I don't want to be experimenting like I want to I go on set knowing what I'm doing yeah, and yeah, plus yeah. they called you to do a job to direct exactly yeah Right. Right. They didn't call you to come and be the, a co-director or exactly, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. You called me to direct because you know I direct. Yeah. So let me do my job and exactly. you do your job. Yeah, man. Yeah. And time is, like you said, is, is, is crucial. It's crucial. It's crucial. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, it's it's crazy how, how many fucking videos that you've done in such a short space of time. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. The yeah, man chose man. the right name, Goldmine Media. Like it's, Goldmine Media, yeah. Yeah, like, you just chose the right name, everything. Because there's times oh. when, like... I've had up like to like the most videos I had stacked up with like like 14 videos to edit oh, crazy right? so wow. it's like the videos keep high. that's the next thing with directors too they might shoot all these videos but then when it comes time to edit the videos they're not doing the fucking edit they're not doing it you know what I'm saying and they might even have like a actual job in the daytime yeah so the time is not even there to edit all those videos how long does it take to edit one video you would say depending on how much footage but I'd say like within like literally if I sat down and just stayed on a video mm-hmm between like six to eight hours maybe sometimes a little bit more for like a two minute video three minutes tops two minute video even like yeah even like three minutes yeah depending on how you shoot it and all the shots that you have because the thing is remember if you're filming all day you have to watch all that footage before Mm -hmm. you even start editing yeah that's a couple hours of just watching the footage the raw footage pick and choose what you want to use you know what i'm saying yeah so it's like a process you know what i'm saying and usually like it never gets done all at the same time yeah I'm saying you might get halfway into the video four or five hours and then you, you, you get back to it after you know what I'm saying that's yeah, crazy 14 of them stacked up 14 videos that's madness oh. but then wow. at the end of the day I crushed them all though they have directors that like you'll never see those videos again because yeah. the time everybody gets intense every man wants their video and then like now they're ringing down your phone you know what I'm saying and like I just know that some directors they, they're, they're, when the pressure's on mm-hmm 
some directors go in hiding. Yeah. You oh. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's either they show up late, months later with the video, or like... <laughs> You that's know, insane you, you don't even see it you know what I'm saying that the director goes ghost that's fucking you know, crazy you know what I'm saying but I knocked them out like I knocked all of them out so you're saying mans will shoot the video and then guys are like yo where's my video and then they don't see their video for six months that's crazy well, at all I've heard stories like that yeah I've that's heard stories nuts. like that that's fucking crazy like they've shot videos and then they just can't get the video they don't even know where the man went like he just disappeared wow that's madness Holy fuck, man. <laughs> what am I fucking hearing crazy, right now, Bridget? Right? Yeah, man, that's crazy. It happens, trust me. Yo, my fucking stomach just dropped just now because I put myself back into, like, back in the days into rapper mode. Like, if I just paid a man to do a video and, like, yeah. six months later, I can't I, I can't even find a man? Oh, that's crazy. Can't so, even find him, ghost. I know them ones. Don't right, even my thing comes down to loyalty and like, business. And then, mm. they, they, you know what I'm saying? Because... Right now, if I was to leave right now and I seen a rapper you on the road right now, if he paid me the money on the spot and I walked away and I shot the video and walked away, he can depend on me to get his video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Knowing me, I'm just I'm just like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've done it before. When I'm in Jamaica, I'll buck somebody and like they got to pay me in full before I leave. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because then after I leave, I got to worry about getting the other half of the money or getting the money at all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I've shot videos and left. The country, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And man still got their videos the week after, 10 days after. The phone calls don't stop. The communication doesn't stop. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. yeah. So, Integrity. Exactly. Yeah. And it's just something that, like, I'm immune to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, with everything I do, it's, it's a just, brand standard. Everything's also. consistent with what I do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Keep up a certain brand quality. Oh, yeah. 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 I and fuck with it, man. Yeah, look. Hmm? Yeah, go for it. Of course you can. Yes. Sabi Sab goes to the room. <laughs> is there is there other things that you want to film other than music videos? Like, do you yeah, want I'm to actually like doing um, a short film. Oh, that's good. It's called Push. That's, that's what I'm working on right now. It's gonna be my first, the second one that I shot. The first short film I did, it was like, all right, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. And what was it called? The first one. Yeah. Green stuff. Green stuff. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. It was like a kind of like a weed thing, you know. Okay. And I shot it. It was like a short film. I shot it, but as after watching it back, I was like, um, "You can do better." You I can do better. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. You, you, but you've grown also as a director. Exactly. So exactly. you see where you made your flaws. Like, fuck, I could have did this better right there. Exactly. Exactly. That's yeah. what's. But that's just you critiquing your stuff, right? Exactly. And then it, it was done. I got it done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now this one. Now I'm going into this next one. I'm on the next level. You know what I'm saying? So this one, I'm like, yeah. This is a good start right here. Can we get a title? It's called Push. Push. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I know you said it, too. What's, what's, do you have, like, what's a little bit of the premise? What's it about? On um, the premise, it, it's based around a female, a girl. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because usually, like, I know I've been thinking about this for a long time. And it's like, I kind of had a feeling of the wave that was coming with, like, with, like the short films and, like, the, the, the web series. Yeah. The, the documentaries and shit like that, right? So... It's been years. I, it's been on my head, and I was thinking, like, how can I do it different? I always want to do shit different, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know the first thing to my mind is do something with the man, them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? Let me use some girls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me switch it. So it's kind of the same type of shit you would watch with the niggas, but I'm using females. Mm-hmm. Right? And then everybody would want to watch the females more than just watch the niggas. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. I, I thought about that, too, right? And also using aspiring actors. Mm. Right, as opposed to just using anybody you know what I'm saying I'm thinking about that in yeah. that sense too right so these people are, all, are really trying to get into the acting yeah, thing yeah all inspired and actors and it's based around this one basically it's based around one girl mm-hmm. her name's Angel in the movie and it's like not to give away too much but she gets into a situation where she like changes her path in life okay you know what I'm saying she, she was a good girl but then now she's just gone like she's on some savage shit yeah. where she doesn't want to be but she's pushed to you know what I'm saying? Hell mm, okay. And it's a short, so I'm like, I'm leaving it open. I'm leaving it, the ending open to mm-hmm. possibilities of a series or a part two or something like that, you know? Yeah. And I got Baby Grime in there too. Okay, shout out Baby Grime. Yeah, yeah, yes. I got another cameo, but I'm going to hold that down for now. When's mm-hmm. that dropping or when can we look forward to that? Um, I'm planning for spring. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so let me ask you a question now. So you, you, you're on both sides of the coin. You can rap and you're a director, right? So... When you're, like you say, you had this in the back of your head, the push, right? Yeah. So when you're, like, 
what's controlling your brain more now is it the mu- the music side or is it the directing side that you're like yo i have this idea that i've been working right like the music is still there but it's like you understand what i'm saying yeah, like yeah 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 you see yeah. i want to do this with but the, the music side it's more directing now it's, it's just all right now. Yeah, so yeah. your ideas are more based yeah. on visuals exactly and yeah. du- like directing shit okay but from the music yeah. videos now I'm thinking movies yeah yeah exactly you know what I'm saying like that's what I'm on right now like, it's like a whole new thing to tackle for me right now you know mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah 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 and I'm going for it you know what I'm saying so you gonna get it you see what happens no nah, yo, yo listen to me the way you keep working and your mindset you're, you're gonna do nothing but achieve it so. facts facts yeah, and yeah, we can use a cameo in your in your in your, in your push in your shorts oh, your yeah, documentary oh, yeah, oh, yeah. the you thing know, is hollow at us. I got like three different other ideas <clears throat> and that's why I'm doing shorts you know okay. what I'm saying just to get them done yeah I push them out there you know what I'm saying because facts to do a series it ain't easy yeah no it's true you have or to do like a word right a feature film let's say trying to get everybody together mm-hmm you know what I'm saying? It's it's not easy. Scheduling all that Scheduling shit. Scheduling is crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. always some shit. Is, if you have ten people involved, it's hard to get them there back to back to back locked to back in. to back. Locked in to do a feature film that's gonna take six months. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. somebody's gonna go on vacation. People got other shit to do. You know what I'm saying? Because they're working on a level yeah. where it's like the budget. We're just trying to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's hard. So There's I'm just sticking to the shorts and I have multiple ideas. Mm-hmm. Then I think once those four are out. Then I can decide which one to like roll with, depending on the feedback. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the plan, still. Okay. Fucking dope, man. Fucking nemesis in the <laughs> building, man. Yo, man. No. Okay. Cause like we we can go on all night, right? Five hundred, man. I'm I'm just like yeah. I'm still. That's a big. Like number. I count. Like I just check the hard drive, and it's like I just open up the file, and I can count all the videos. Mm. You know what I'm saying so it's like. You open the file, like open the, the screen wide, and then there's ten views at the top. So yeah. I, just, I just count by tens, or fifteen, however long it's stretched yeah. out. Yeah. 15, 30, 45, oh, nice. 60, 90, That's crazy. All the way. And I'm That's like, yeah, past five hundred. That's dope, man. Okay, I want to hold you for a moment. All right, um, we got something called smoke and mirrors. All right. Now 